Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, to borrow from the Truman Show. I don't know when you're watching this, but thanks for joining us for another midweek message and a continuation of the series of Vital Verses. The verse I wanted to share with you all this week is a verse that I can remember learning sitting out in a field at Wesley Woods Church Camp, um, reading my Bible during quiet time. Um, I don't know why I happened upon it. I'm sure it was part of some devotion that's now long gone from my brain. But the verse I wanted to share with you is Jeremiah 33, verse 3. And it says, Call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you have not known. I know something that, excuse me, I often struggle with is feeling like God is answering my prayers. And often it's that Casey here is being controlling, imagine that, and I just want the answer that I want. And I forget that an omnipotent, all-knowing God knows everything, and all I have to do is call to him, and he'll answer me, and he'll tell me the things I don't know. He's going to answer me in his time, not in my time. And he may not give me the answer I want, but he will answer me. And he will tell me great and unsearchable things that I don't know. And that is a comfort to me and an important reminder for me, especially in seasons of uncertainty, in times where I'm feeling frustrated or drained, or even when I'm feeling joyful and excited and I just don't know what to do with all that energy, I know if I reach out to God, he will tell me or show me. And sometimes that's in the form of, you know, a blatantly obvious answer to prayer. And sometimes it's in the subtleties that I could write off as a coincidence, that there's something in a book I'm reading that strikes me or a conversation I have with somebody that just really touches my heart and um, shows me a message that I, I feel is from God. So I hope that that gives you some hope for your day or your week or your month or whatever too. Uh, won't you pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of your word where we can read and we can be reminded of such simplicities of the Christian walk, like calling out to you and praying and that you will tell us great and unsearchable things that we have not known, not just things we know already and have forgotten. Lord, help us to remember and be present for this time of Advent where we are awaiting the birth of Jesus and that we are remembering to create times of calm and times of peace where we can really practice patience and waiting. Lord, as we are waiting for other things in the world, some of us for shifts in health, some of us for shifts in pandemic status, some of us for shifts in politics, some of us for shifts just in a season that we're tired of. Lord, help us to remember that if we call out to you, you will answer us. Maybe not in our time, maybe not with the answer we're looking for, but you will show us great and unsearchable things that we don't know. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope that if you're not having a great week, that turns around or you get some kind of prayer or comfort. And if you are having a great week, that you continue to do so. Thanks so much.